so my name is Jeroen Vase. I'm the founder and CEO of Jeroen. Uh, my background is primarily from the hotel industry where I worked in um, South America, I worked in Europe, Middle East and Asia, um, both on corporate and property level. Um, my last role was at Starwood where I was the head of revenue management for Asia Pacific. <music> biggest challenge in the travel sector right now I think the no-brainer is COVID I think on a short term that's really where we are uh, all struggling with and that's impacting um, the business throughout the world um, I do think if you take a step back I think one of the struggles for me is that the travel industry is a rather traditional industry um, you know if you look at our business models our technology the commercial strategies it hasn't really changed fundamentally over the last couple of years and that's why it's sometimes difficult to adjust to new realities to scale up or scale down as we um, as we go um, i think that's partially given due to the service related industry and we're bound to a location where we need to welcome our guests or work with them um, but I think also we are not always as creative to take advantage of opportunities and uh, um, you know getting into the habit of disrupting so that's why stages um, I think that generally I think people will be very cautious I don't really see a big recovery in summer I think there will be some things that are happening in domestic markets maybe people start to work a little travel a little bit to short-term short-haul destinations but long-haul will probably be um, far far ahead um, it all depends on what's gonna happen with uh, vaccines cures uh, very easy and quick testing um, that's accurate and fast. I think that's another one that might open up a little bit of travel. Um, but you know, it, it depends a lot on what government restrictions are, are going to be. Overall, I do think that we're going to be seeing the results of this far into 2021. Um, and I think that it might be summer next year or even a bit later before we are back to reasonable normal volumes again. <music> About the the three pillars or the three big topics of the hackathon and what I relate to most I think it's a combination of the travel experience and sustainability um, not so much sustainability and the environmental aspect although I think that's definitely something we all need to think about and uh, it's it's part of what we, we should do on a day-to-day -day basis um, but I really think how can we connect better to local communities um, really take advantage of what's around us uh, connect with the places we visit rather than just going to the tourist high highlights. I think that's one of the things that I'm really, really passionate about. Um, that really talks about building sustainable business models um, and also create really meaningful memories and experiences for people. If you look at the destinations that I would travel to once we're getting out of lockdown, and certainly here in Singapore, that's still a little bit away, um, I think the first thing I would do is go and see family and friends. So I would probably travel back home to the Netherlands or to, to Canada, where my wife's from. Um, I think that's the first thing, reconnect with the people we love. The world after COVID will, will, will be very different. Some things will stick, um, some things will, will, will go away, will go back to the way we've done business. And think, thinking ahead and, and seeing what, what will stick and how can we take advantage of that. So it's not so much about how can we solve the problem of today or maybe even solve the problem of the future, but how can we think of the world in a year's time and how can we take advantage of the new opportunities that, that are there. So looking at the upside rather than uh, the problem that we have. Be bold and uh, come up with some great solutions.